Alrighty, uh, time for another Tennis World Tour stream. <coughs> if they're not going to get bloody too uh, restricted by bloody uh, throat problems. Reset, six matches, yeah, why not? See if I can beat Federer. With uh, what seems to be an overpowered Kachanov. One thing I want to just check before I start is... Uh, let's try and... Oh, okay, Nadal's game got suspended. Down 3 love in the third, but has won the first two sets. Oh, okay. Has the PS has the patch arrived for PS4? Uh no, uh if you follow uh Tennis World Tour on Facebook and Twitter, uh particularly Twitter, they posted an update in regards to the patch. They were hopeful they could get it out uh, today, or for me that's yesterday, because it's now Tuesday where I live. They were hoping to get it out, but they're now hopeful to get it out tomorrow, so for me that'll probably be like Tuesday night, or something like that. Uh, they did clarify that um, it's only going to... They, they did clarify that the Xbox patch was actually just adding in a lot of things that weren't already in the Xbox version that were already in the PS4 version. Although that sparked a lot of debate because the Xbox version has seemingly got slightly better gameplay and there is no... Obviously, Xbox has got sound where the PS4 doesn't. So I don't really know how they can... How they can sort of say that. So, uh, I don't know what that means for the PMR or for everyone else. Um, depending on what time they release it, of course. If they release it after midnight, then, well, obviously, then it's tomorrow for me, too. But, you know, uh, yeah, it uh, kicked off a massive debate on Twitter, and yeah, shit hit the fan real quick. So there's a lot of unhappy people at the moment. Gotcha. Like I can order, I can sort of understand a lot of people's frustration, but um, you know, like. It, it started the, the the debate that that AO tennis is just better in every way, and I was like, oh god, this is gonna this is gonna go real well. Evidently, that uh, AO tennis has got another patch coming out this week, although it's only been said on a a forum that I never heard of before. So whether that happens or not. While it's better than AO Tennis release, more playable. Do you mean AO Tennis is more playable? Evidently they're working on player movement uh, and animations in the next AO Tennis patch. If they can finally fix the things that I absolutely can't stand about the game, I'll gladly change my opinion of it. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Because, like, I've I've definitely been one of one of their biggest. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Um, like, even though Tennis World Tour, like, without patches, has got its issues, yeah, it's still it's still more playable than what AO Tennis was when it first came out. Like, like I'm, I already have fun with with Tennis World Tour, even that. Yeah, yeah. So do I. Um, and, like, in my opinion, it's only going to get better. There's no way the game stays exactly like this till the end of time. It has to improve in some way. And from what I've seen of the Xbox patch, it already has improved somewhat. It... Damn it. Shut up, woman. Stop with your come-ons. But, yeah, apparently uh, Tennis is getting a patch this week, which so they say, is going to make it the best patch they've had so far. So, like, obviously we'll see. We'll see about that. Because, um, I mean, the last patch, which was almost 12 gigabyte, uh, I didn't really feel was worth it. So, we'll see about that. And then, obviously, we'll see if the, the PS4 patch for Tennis World Tour comes out uh, tomorrow. And we'll see what that does. Hopefully, like, if it's not going to improve, like, dramatically on gameplay till the following patch, I at least want to see, or hear, rather, the crowd atmosphere get put in. Because, I mean, that would just... That in itself would change it. Oh, why would you play it there? Ah! Tennis World Tour has potential. It feels like a top spin game. AO feels like a clunky PS2 game. Funny thing is, some people are saying the exact opposite uh, in some cases. Like, some of the comments that I've seen on on my uh, on my YouTube channel, it, like, <laughs> it, uh, it's still not been updated, uh, Big John. They gave an update. Yeah, I've seen the Xbox gameplay. It, it does look it does look a bit better, and obviously they've got crowd sounds and things like that. So, uh, but yeah, uh, Big John, they they've said they said on Twitter earlier um, that uh, they're trying to have it out by tomorrow. So I don't know if that's tonight my time or if it's going to be early hours of the morning my time tomorrow not 100% sure but they're apparently working hard on getting it out AO is so jerky I can't understand what people why people prefer it <sighs> apparently a lot a lot of people feel it's just like real tennis which I completely disagree with I mean apparently some people who play tennis feel like it's the better experience oh. Yeah, I'm in Australia, yep. Fault. So I don't know what... I'm not really sure what time it would come out for me. It depends what time they get it out where they're based in France, I believe. Fault. Damn it. Like, it's 7... 7.30 in the morning on Tuesday. For me. And we got the FIFA, the FIFA update today too. So I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna have a bit of fun with that too, though. So look, it's not like I haven't got things to play in the meantime. So yeah, there's there's plenty of things to do. Uh, like obviously not everyone, not everyone's gonna have FIFA and other various games. Some people like might have just purely got a console or something for for uh, tennis. I doubt it, but. You never know. 4:35 p.m. Whereabouts are you, uh, Big John? I don't think I've asked that before. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the FIFA update. Also, don't know what time that is up. 
FIFA update, yeah. All, all I know is it's today. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it'll be sometime today. I think, I think it'll probably go in line with wherever... Wherever EA, like EA Sports FIFA is based, exactly. Suburbs of Illinois. Oh, yeah. Far from the Windy City. Uh, day 1 patch is really a week 2 patch. Hope they keep improving the game quickly. Yeah, I think they're trying to do a lot. FIFA update is 8am UK. Uh, so what, okay, so I've got a, I've got like a good, uh, 10 hours, is it 10 p.m. there, in the UK? I don't know if you're in the UK, I'm just trying to, about 45 minutes from, from Chicago, oh, nice. I want to go to, I want to visit Chicago one day, AO movement, so, so stuttery and fake looking, yep. There's plenty of people who like it, but at the moment, they need to improve. 30, oh, I wasn't too far off. 10.36 or 22.36 in military time. Do you think Big Ben is going to update outfits of the players? Um, I'm not sure. I, I think I read something about them, whoops, p potentially doing that. Uh, you ever been to the States? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, Shut up, woman. I want to. I want to visit at some point. Uh, there's plenty of places I want to go. I wanted to go to Hawaii as like my first destination, but uh, I, yeah. <laughs> like obviously the, assumedly the volcano will have uh, uh, gone away by that point, or well, not gone away, but sort of you know stopped. Uh, ruining the big island, but, you know. So, I've just got this and played my first game. I'm, uh, sorry, first impressions are it's not as bad as people are making out, but a few things I don't understand. Yeah, it's like, it's definitely not as bad as some people say. Like, you can see the obvious flaws, but is it a glitch that it randomly will hit any shot type. Uh, I've noticed it depends on your positioning. Because uh, also, check your check your settings. If you've got auto volley and auto inside out on, turn them off. It makes the game a lot better. Like those slice shots and things still happen, but they're not as frequent. I would love to come to Australia one day. I've never been to Hawaii yet. It's beautiful there though. Yeah, like um, you look at how many movies are made there these days. Like well, over the years. It, the landscape is just amazing. Hopefully presentation will be better. Presentation's not too bad at the moment. It like it, it just needs a lot of fine tuning in, in a few areas, I think. Surely some sound files take no effort. You'd think so, because they've already got them in the Xbox version, so... Oops. You would think. Hawaii is overrated, it's too windy. Rains unless you're lucky. Hawaii's boring as hell. Oh, almost. Went online out. Uh, I assume not. Probably not. It won't be the first PS4 patch, but it'll probably be the second patch. And I'm not sure if that's later in a week or if that's like I know they're trying to do a lot before the 12th of June when the majority of the rem the remainder of releases come out, like, especially with PC. Because, I mean, that's when, I think, most of the PC releases come out on the 12th of June. So, I think they're aiming to have the game pretty well set by the 12th of June and then just update, update like crazy from there. You're up at crazy hours, isn't it? Like 5am in Oz. Uh, no, it's uh, 20 to 8 in the morning. So, I say it's not that early. <laughs> I'm a bit of a night owl, though, so oh, I'll position myself nicely for that one.
the player and career mode can have official brands are uh, I haven't seen them at the moment so I think they've got to they've got to add that in what about fans clapping without sound it really bothers me hope they'll patch this soon yeah so do I uh, is there a shot clock in the game on other courts there is a big scoreboard on the right with the scores and then there's a big zero zero below the uh, look to the right Look to the right, the far right of the court. Yeah, like I'll still, I'll still play both games, and it sounds like there's going to be an, uh, a new update for AO Tennis this week, which they say is going to be the best yet. Uh, AO Tennis or Tennis World Tour for you. I prefer playing this game; it's more enjoyable. But you know, we'll see what. AO Tennis can do in regards to updates. Um, a lot of people think that they've had a lot of updates, but they've only really had five major updates. Do you use the sprint button? Yes, I do. Uh, it felt pretty useless to me, but I only had one game. Yeah, I don't think it really does that much at the moment. I think that's something that's got to be balanced with, uh, with future patches. I decided to buy it, and to be fair, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, like, it's not bad. It's like it really isn't as bad as some people say. I played on Legend sometimes in Tennis World Tour and needed the sprint sometimes. I watched one of your videos, one of your AO vids earlier, and honestly, it looks pretty bad. I don't get why people like it so much in its current state. Like, it needs a lot of improvement. Uh. There's time difference, I know. There was a different video where it was counting down from 25 seconds. What oh, was it? I don't think I noticed that. 30, I found you can use the analog stick with serving. Oh, do tell me how. Is it somewhere in here? Is it the... Is it that? Because I don't know what other options there is. I don't understand why Tennis World Tour had so few players. It's got more players than uh, AO Tennis. AO Tennis has only got 20 licensed players. It's obviously got more women, but... Yeah, like, I can understand the lack of uh, female players. The biggest issue with Tennis World Tour is clearly it should've, shouldn't have been a AAA price, that's what people are pissed with. Yeah, I can understand that. AO Tennis was the same, though. We paid for AO Tennis back in January, and it was $89, $99 Australian. So we paid an absolute premium for a completely broken game. It was worse, worse than this. And a lot of people think it only came out a couple of weeks ago. A lot of people don't realise that it's been out for four months. Yeah, in, in AO Tennis you can download players, but I mean... The customization, like, it does, like, they rely a lot on the play face now, which can look absolutely dreadful, but, you know, like, the only thing to me that it's got over it at the moment is the customization. Just before you let go of the button for serving, push the stick in the direction you want it. Oh, okay. And missed that shot. <laughs> oh, dear. I heard that too. I paid 49 US dollars for it. Yeah, most uh, mainstream games are like 60 bucks in America, aren't they? Advantage. Most of ours are like 100, but it, it, like a lot of them, like, like for example, Detroit Become Human. Uh, Detroit Become Human was only 79 dollars, so it was actually cheaper than AO Tennis. Work that one out. Detroit Become Human was cheaper than AO Tennis. Can you figure that out? Uh, how do you power up a serve without going long? Uh, 
I don't know, I just don't hold it. I, I sort of let go not long before he's about to release it. And then, it, it, for the most part, it seems to work for me. Ah. I really got to stop pausing the game, because otherwise this is going to take uh, a short piece of forever. Ah. But I wanted to use uh, Kachanov because uh, uh, cause he seems to be a player that's quite overpowered. How is Detroit become human? I'm going to get that one soon. Oh man, it it's amazing. Uh, the patch notes are on Facebook. Uh, they've been on Facebook for a few days now. Yeah, Tomic uh, went out, went out in the first round and four cities, three three love down in the third. Suspended until tonight, my time, I guess. But yeah, Detroit Become Human's amazing. Like the story is so intense. The music absolutely makes like it, it's just it's just unreal. Seems like he did try though. He didn't tank the match for once. Yeah, I think he was. I think if he'd lost in uh, in uh, straight sets, then people would have been going, well, what are you doing? Ah. <laughs> Come on, man, you had advantage, and you didn't take advantage. Yeah, true. I don't play a Tennis or Tennis World Tour, but from what I saw, Tennis World Tour has better gameplay. Yeah, like, I think it I think it depends, uh, have you played Hitman, did you like it? Nah, I haven't played Hitman, I've only seen it on YouTube, I, I didn't really like the episodic release of it. Yeah, it's like a movie, um, did you ever hear of the game, uh, Heavy Rain, or Beyond Two Souls? It's made by the same people. There's a lot of quick uh, quick time events in the game, and then the the basic premise of it is uh, the t decisions you make affect the outcome of the game. Ah, oh, bitch! I have no idea what Tomic's favourite surface is, so <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, roll the dice on that one. Heavy Rain is a great game. Oh, that yeah. I I haven't got the remastered version. I played it on PS3, but I'm tempted to to go and get the remastered version. Yeah, yeah. I played Heavy Rain. I absolutely love that game. Um, I only played it through once, so I remember I, I saved I saved the boy who got taken by that. Yeah, I won't say I won't say any more than that, because well, I mean it's been out for a long time now. But I'm get, going to Hazard and going to Hazard and guess maybe say Grass maybe. Yeah. Quick time events are really annoying. Um, they put you under pressure, which I kind of like, because you get your heart pumping like that, like that guy, like um. Heavy Rain did that so well. Your player returns the ball even if you don't press a button. Well, not always. AO Tennis has an auto swing thing as well. From what I've seen, the only thing AO Tennis has over Tennis World Tour is player noises and voices. I pray they don't put Carlos below or Lena I don't know who that's meant to say did you play God of War uh no I haven't played God of War yet uh, yeah God of War rather I'm uh I'm contemplating getting it like I have seen videos on it and like I haven't I haven't spoiled the story for myself so I've just seen like the review and whatnot so yeah it it looks amazing like it's another PS4 exclusive but 
They should have more unforced errors. Yeah, I think that's going to be going to be sorted out in upcoming patches. That's something AO Tennis needs to do as well. Because AO Tennis hasn't like you you can make a lot of unforced errors, but the AI doesn't make many. And if the AI does make any in AO Tennis it, it takes it takes them a very long time to do so. Yeah, the sound the sound definitely needs to be sorted out. Like Xbox it seems to be okay now. It's like watching a movie unless you press buttons to let you know that it's a game. <laughs> yeah. The first uh, percentage on both AO Tennis and Tennis World 2 is far too high. Uh for your for your player it is on this. I've noticed the AI can can occasionally make a fair few faults. But it, it seems to be a bit random. Stick serving works much better. I'll have to give it a try. I, c I completely forgot to even try it. Last of Us. Oh, yeah. Last of Us is a masterpiece. I can't wait. I'm, I'm, I'm keen for E3 to see when, if they announce, uh, if they announce a release date for The Last of Us Part 2. More lets and faults are needed by the AI. Yeah, yeah. There hasn't been. To, I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen any lets from the AI. I seriously hope they bring that s s Splinter Cell at E3. They should add ball kids running to get the ball. I get the feeling for a smaller studio that's that might be a tricky thing to do. Even though you can see the ball boys actually moving with slight animations. I'd rather they don't overcomplicate things. I'm really excited for The Last of Us Pass 2. I just hope uh, Joel doesn't die in that. Yeah. The way it sounds in the trailer, it, it makes it sound like Joel might be dead. And like Ellie wants revenge, but I really hope that's not the case because Joel's character was amazing in the first one. But the, yeah, like from from the trailers that we've seen, it it looks it looks fantastic. Stealth games underrated. Yeah, it's a shame Metal Gear Solid is uh, is ruined now because Metal Gear Solid was one of the best stealth games, even though it was a a bit of a uh, alternate reality type world it was still a really good stealth game was after uh, Kojima uh, left Konomi that was the end of it now Konomi have made a new one and it looks awful Metal Gear Solid on the PS2 was also I, I think one of the best ones that I played was Guns of the Patriots that was a that was a trippy, trippy game. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of fifty-fifty if it'll be, if it'll be released this year because you got Red Dead later in the year, um, which anyone who releases around the time of Red Dead is going to struggle with sales. Although to be fair, if if anyone was going to go up against Red Dead, it would be The Last of Us. I think the last Splinter Cell I played was... I think it was Blacklist. Joel might be in the game, but it'll just be... Thoughts of Ali guiding her through. Yeah, that that's what people are sort of thinking. I'm hoping it's not the case, but I guess... You know, only time will tell. 30, I get the feeling they're not going to show much in regards to him. They're going to keep people guessing. Yeah, nice. Yes.
Oh dear. That is a horrible unforced error. Yeah, it's a bit too green. It needs a bit of brown in it. It needs a bit of discoloration. Because, um... Yeah, it's it's pretty bright. <laughs> and it, it, it gets a little bit hard to see the ball. That's why I don't play on grass that much. Because it, it, it's a bit tough on the eyes. For both myself and anyone watching. Oh, nice. Naughty Dog confirmed that we'll be playing as Ellie only in part two. Oh, did they? Oh, okay. Oh, I guess we'll wait and see anyway. She is older now, so it do she does look an abs like an absolute uh, bad badass in uh, in the trailer. We seriously need completely new developers that'll come up with completely new things in gaming. Uh, apparently it's going to be, the FIFA update is going to be 8am UK t UK time apparently. That's what a few others have said. So that won't, for me, that won't be until, uh, what's that, 8am, that would be about 6pm my time. So I'll probably do a live stream on that. I uh, saw a really, really wild theory that Death Stranding is secretly a Metal Gear Solid Silent Hill crossover. Well, you look at it, uh, Kojima is behind that game, so he can add his Metal Gear Solid touch to it, so it wouldn't surprise me. You have to wait before the... You always have to wait the animation on... Animation before to serve or I'm, or I'm wrong. Not 100% sure what you mean by that. Gaming just feels stale. There's not really any games that stand out, really. Is that a troll, or...? I get that a lot of games have the same concept, but for me, it's about the story. Like, I, like, I don't go into games playing, looking at... Like, sports games are a bit different. I don't, like, but... Your standard games, I don't go in looking at multiplayer and things like that, like a lot of people do. If a game has got a good story, like, that'll be enough to, to suck me in. Like the Un Uncharted series. Uh, no, it's a free, it's a free update. Yeah, it's a free update on FIFA. If you've, if you've got the game. Obviously, if you haven't got the game, you have to buy the game. <laughs> Ah, uh, the new update's not coming out till. I also got Tensor 2, I like the gameplay, but don't you think that in time the gameplay gets repetitive? Unless they keep patching. Oh, yeah, like it'll get repetitive if they don't patch it. Yeah, uh. Extreme, uh. Yeah, the FIFA patch is due out 8 o'clock UK time, so. For me, that's about 6 pm, so it's about 11 hours or, or 10 hours away. Just realise you could power up your shots as soon as you've hit the ball. So when it comes back, you're powered up. Yeah, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a strange system. Ah. Nah, the patch isn't out yet. They've, they've said on Twitter that all, they're trying to get it out for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean about uh, charging up after you've hit the ball. Yeah, that, that definitely works. Yeah, I've got the power meter off. But I can see what you mean. I can see, I can feel the difference. PS2 era. I think they spend more time on making games now than what they did on the PS2. That, like... Like, I think they're really trying to 
to squeeze the technology. Out. Ah! I had a PS3 and it was really good online on tennis, uh, Top Spin 4. I created a realistic Fernando Gon Gonzalez. Ah! Tight one with Federer here. X-Files on PS2. Uh, I don't think I did, no. I didn't have many games on the PS2 because I was, I was still, I was still growing up, so I didn't really, I didn't really have many options, uh, money-wise, because it was pretty much my parents, it was pretty much my parents that bought all my games back then. Oh dear. Guess it's more about graphics and money grabbing now. I think the the games from like Naughty Dog and Rock Rockstar they actually yeah, you know, I mean both both those studios take like four or five years per game to work on, so I think that they're they're the studios you can really trust. I'm twenty nine. Damn it. Oh dear. Yep, that was uh overhit. GTA was like a record seller, I'm pretty sure, yeah. It also had the biggest budget of games ever seen. Yeah, L L.A. Noir was was a great game. I haven't played the remaster, but I played it originally, originally on the PS3 though. That was an amazing game. I mean, for 2011, L.A. Noir was was fantastic. Damn it. Uh, Federer might get the break here. Ah, shit. Three break points. Dear, oh dear. It's all happening. The service from Isner is great in tennis will tour. Hit, hit more than 20 aces in a match. Holy shit. Well, yep, lost the break. I wish to make a similar game to LA Noir now. Yeah, unfortunately the studio closed down. It went, they went, uh, they went bust. But because they was, um, yeah, because it was an affiliate of uh, Rockstar, they were able to do the remaster. Oh, hello. Yeah, I played Mafia 2 back in the day. Ah uh, no, it's not with the patch. The uh, the patch is apparently apparently gonna they're gonna try and get it out tomorrow. Oh nice. Ace combat. I don't think I play. Uh yeah no I don't think I played Ace combat. No oh damn it. No oh, yeah that's all good. Uh I'll I'll keep. I'll keep on top of things and hopefully, uh, hopefully maybe not long after the, maybe not long after the FIFA update comes out it'll come out, but we'll wait and see. Karlovic on the other hand is boring to watch. Serving much better, your forehand's gone for a walk. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm overpowering too much. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> How you play Call of Duty World War Two? Uh, yeah, I played Call of Duty World War Two. I only played the uh, I only played the the campaign though. I didn't play online. Yeah, SOCOM was a really good series. I love it. Yeah, set point. Where was the finesse in that drop shot? That I had a few drop shots that actually look look quite decent. The backhand's not actually not that bad. Ah, oh, you're kidding. <sighs> yeah, I played SOCOM. I loved it. I was a bit disappointed when they didn't continue the series, like, as generations went on. Um, I'm not really sure yet. I'm, I'm kind of just winging it on the stream. Uh, so there's the first set stats. Uh... Yes, uh, someone who said AI needs to have more faults and whatnot. Yep, you're not wrong. Federer's got 100% first serve in the first set. And no unforced errors. Meanwhile, I've got 18. And I've had 28 winners. Can we see in World War Two one day? Do you mean Call of Duty one World War Two? Their yeah, team teammates in SOCOM are so are, all, are awful though. Yeah, isn't that most shooters though? The AI just does nothing for you. Do I know what'll be fixed on the patch? Uh, the patch notes are on Facebook. Uh, Tennis World Tour exceeded your expectations, or I I hoped it would be more finished, but. To me, the gameplay like it feel it feels nicer to play than AO Tennis at the moment. Uh, I haven't seen Thirteen Reasons Why. I've never watched it. Uh, there's plenty of shows I've never watched on Netflix. Who do you think is going to win the French Open? Uh, like I hope. I, I said initially, Nadal. I hope he still can, but yeah, we'll 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 see. I think. Is it worth buying? Personally, I'd I'd hold off. Needs a bit of time to get patched. There's only five women, five women in the game. So if you're getting it more for the WT, t, uh, TA players, uh, you, you're probably going to be a bit disappointed. Gotcha. Nadal's in a tough match at the moment. Yeah, he's down three love in the uh, in the third set, but he's up two sets to love. So I think it'll be a I think it'll be a mental thing if he gets through or not. No, no, in Roland Garros, who will win? I did say Nadal. Do you think, uh... Damn it. Do you think Serena Williams will get through? She was in the news, uh, here, uh, yesterday, last night, and, um, yeah, apparently she's had a lot of criticism over having, over, you know, taking time off to have a baby. I was thinking, Jesus Christ, the, 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 the media's a bit harsh. Yeah, nice. I think Nadal will get tired, he's not getting any younger. Yeah, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, like, as a few people said, he's got a, he's, Got quite an easy side of the draw, but playing more unknown opposition might not necessarily be the best thing for him. Oh, you're cheap. Blah 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 blah. No, the patch isn't out yet. 
the patches. They're trying to get it out for tomorrow. They posted on Twitter about it earlier. Shit hit the fan, to say the least. Nah, to me, AO Tennis got worse after the last patch. Yeah, she's playing Christina Pliskova, yeah. The slices don't happen as, mu as much as what they were once I turned a few settings off. And it depends on your positioning. If you're out of position, you get, you're, you're not balanced. Uh, I watched a bit of, uh, I watched a bit of Nadal's first set. Like, the first set went for, like, I think it went for like nearly an hour. So, yeah, it was a tough grind. Ah, more unforced errors. Djokovic was there for the taking, but his opponent didn't take advantage. Yeah, I saw he won in straight sets. Who's your favourite player of all time? I enjoyed watching Pat Rafter play. Advantage. Yeah, the ball hits the net. I've hit the net a couple of times in this match. Another ace. I hope they fix that because the opponent just sort of sitting there and going, "Yeah, I'm just going to have a cup of tea while you while you serve that ace." Damn it! Don't you think Tennis World Tour could learn from and watch? They probably are watching. Because they're all, they're all, it's a French team, so I imagine they're probably attending some of the matches at Roland Garros, to be honest. Which is probably why we didn't hear anything from them over the weekend. Another ace. They should add challenge. Uh, they've already, they spoke to someone about that in an article. They said the umpire doesn't make mistakes, so there's no need for it. Which I, uh, apparently some people took as a slight dig, uh, dig at AO Tennis. Well, that was nice. Ah, uh, drop shot. No, you idiot. He's so deep. Gotcha. Is the umpire god? They make mistakes. Yeah, I think they're trying to say umpires in this game will not make mistakes. But I think I think if they wanted a bit more realism, they would add in some margin for error. Do you like the place uh, faces in of the players in Tennis World Tour? Advantage. Uh, I think they're more. I think they're more. Probably a bit more cartoonish. But some of the faces in AO Tennis look a bit strange as well. So it, both games have their issues on that. Excuse me, on that side of things. But yeah, a lot of a lot of people don't like how some of the faces look. In Tennis World Tour. Ah, PSP is that? Does the PSP still exist? I know the PSP and the Vita, they just disappeared. Like I know, I know you can still buy them, but like they don't. I don't. I don't think they make games for them anymore. Because I was going to buy one. I was going to buy a Vita last year, and then I got, I got told that yeah, they just they don't make anything for it anymore. I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Oh, come on. Come on, Roger. Really? Do you have to do that? Be nice. He's playing unconscious. Have you played tennis elbow? Uh, yeah, I have, but... Uh, 
um, I've got to reinstall it on on uh, Steam and then gradually get all those uh, mods again. I might try and do that eventually. I, I don't. I have. I haven't interacted with the CEO, of Big Ben. I've got no idea. Um, to be honest. The only reason why you hear a lot from Ross is because he, he is absolutely glued to social media. Um, a lot of his former employees have said that he spends way too much time on social media and, and instead of focusing on directing his team on what he wants to be done and then he blames them when things don't go right even though he's not really playing a part because he's too busy sitting on social media. So that's why you see a lot of replies on Twitter and Facebook because he's just... He sits on there all day. Um, Sega needs to re revisit a bit of virtual tennis. Yeah, apparently Sega's in a bit of trouble, someone was saying. Uh, no, I haven't played Grand Slam Tennis. I heard it was a little bit, little bit dodgy. Ah! Damn it. Yeah, 27 minutes for that first set. It's not bad. 8 minutes for this first. Uh, I didn't play enough of Tennis Elbow to get a, a full understanding of it. I think it was pretty dated though, despite all the mods. Uh, you can you can blame early access for games getting released early. It shouldn't happen on consoles though. It should that, I mean, y you know it happens on on PC with Steam because they actually have a physical section saying early access. It just it's just the way things are now, uh, particularly with these with these uh, smaller companies. Oh, Federer got on his bike for that one. From what I saw, Grand Slam Tennis, Grand Slam Tennis is very realistic. I looked at the, I looked at the gameplay and it, and it looked pretty shady at times. And then the commentary felt a bit forced as well. Like it's the commentary is worse in this, but uh, not sure about AO Tennis. I know Tennis World Tour is. I know Tennis World Tour is going to be on the Switch. I think it comes out on the twelfth of June. If you had to buy a Tennis or Tennis World Tour, which would you buy? At the moment, neither. I don't advise anyone buy buy them at the moment. I have to say this game has a lot more potential than A Open. Looks more like t a top spin field. Yeah, it's, it's, it does have, despite what people say, uh, yeah, it does have a top spin field to it. By top spin four. Oh. Not sure if you're saying that to me because I've already, I, like, I, I've got. Top spin four still I, I still have it from because I've still got my PS3. Oh. Three sets really? Even if you choose the realistic setting. Oh, that seems a bit strange. Yeah, he's... Oh, that hit him in the nuts. That poor linesman. 15, I'm 29. I don't... I don't generally look my age, though. I look younger, apparently. Apparently, I look early 20s. Which I suppose is handy as I get older. I still get asked for ID sometimes. Put it that way. If I... Uh, if I buy alcohol... I still get asked for ID. 
in the career mode, can you change hair of the player? Uh, sort of. There's not many options though for hair. Uh, from Australia. What skill are we on? Um, playing on professional. As if I'm gonna take games off Federer on Legend. Come on now. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't shave. Oh, I I had about a five day uh, growth um, of not not shaving, and and I I look like I had a full beard, like a pretty scruffy beard. But God, it's. Uh, I'm 23 and my parents are angry because I'm still playing video games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, we're all human. Uh, what's your favourite alcoholic drink? Uh, I like Corona. I'm pretty I'm pretty basic. I like the new Corona Legera or Legera or however you say it. Sorry for asking if anyone else does. Uh, but AO or Tennis or Tour. I'd rather AO, I think. AO Tennis has got a lot of problems with, with its own gameplay. Gameplay is more fun to play. Despite the fact that it, yeah, it needs a lot of help. Uh, a few other people can probably answer that about Tennis Elbow, because I haven't played, I haven't played enough of it to get a full grasp on it. No, you can't. You can't really edit the hair. Pretty much once you create a player, that's pretty much how they're going to look. Because I can't get rid of my grunt on my Bob Johnson character. <laughs> and it's pretty bad. Uh, it, like, it's funny, but it's bad. People asking random questions like, <laughs> like you're a celebrity. Uh, I think people are just curious. It's sort of funny though. Yeah, apparently it's coming to console. I don't really see how that's going to work though because you're not going to be able to have mods on it. So it's going to be pretty basic. Because Full Ace, Full Ace ten Tennis Simulator is meant to come to console as well. Oh, I just realised I'm three one up in this set. God, shows how much attention I pay. Yeah, I've seen player movement, like and animations can be a little bit, little bit dated at times. Like they sort of shuffle from side to side on the court. But I mean, it, yeah, the game's like five years old and it's made by one person, so well, pretty much one person. So what do you, yeah. You can't expect the world. 40, it's much like Full Ace. Full Ace is, uh... Like, Full Ace is made by one person, and, like, the way that game plays is amazing. Gotcha. Yeah, I think, I think after AO, I think after AO Tennis, a lot of people think that every game is going to have a, a massively, a massively deep customization system, which it's, like, there's no doubting a lot of developers could do it, but they just focus on other areas. Ah, shit. Because you look at it, AO Tennis focused a lot on customization, and they kind of skimped. They kind of skimped on gameplay. How do they get animations done so perfectly in the mods and tennis elbow? Well, it, it's a lot of the public. It, it, it's it's just randoms uh, in the community making those mods. It's not even the not even the developers. There's a lot of talented people out there who aren't even game developers. I've noticed. 
4-1 up against Federer. He's probably going to win this game, though. Yeah, it's been... When did Grand Slam Tennis 2 come out? 2013? So it's been five years since they've given tennis a go. But I can't see them steering away from FIFA, Madden, NHL and UFC, so... Yeah, customization, yeah, it takes a big chunk. Uh, with with Big Ant, though, like, they've got that same, that same customization system in all their games. Yeah, patch coming tomorrow, apparently, yeah. I hope they do a little more in te uh, Tennis World Tour that you can changes so some little things like hair oh yeah I see what you mean yeah tennis game wouldn't make them much money no yeah sports has got bigger fish to fry oh that was nice gotcha What do you think of players' entrance in stadium and animations between points? Obviously there's no real entrance in this game, but they kind of just appear on the court. I assume you mean AO Tennis though, probably. 15, yeah, top spin 4 budget would have been massive, but I mean they were backed by 2k, so 2k's got that kind of money. Just unfortunate that uh, that studio uh, shut down. Ah! Oh, nice. For real though, Super Tennis for the Super Nintendo system had better crowd reactions. Even Tossin 4 only had Nadal and Roddick, their own serve animations, yeah, true. Yeah, the PS4's got enough power to run a very good looking game. I mean, you look at some of the games that have come out on the PS4. I mean, Detroit Become Human, being the most recent, it looks absolutely fantastic. Even on the baseline PS4, which I've got. I don't even have the PS4 Pro and that game looks amazing. Oh, on the charge to take the second set, 5-2 up. Come on. New balls. New balls. I'm sort of thinking I might give Twitch a go as well. I'm not sure what quality I can upload on Twitch though, or uh, stream on Twitch. Do you think they'll make other tennis games on PS4? Uh, personally, I think the next game for ten uh, Tennis on the PS4 will be AO Tennis 2, which scares me a little bit. Da. Would not be a good idea to dump money on a tennis game. Yeah, I think, I think the risk is why none of the big studios have done it. Ah, bugger. Yeah, they would lose money. Yeah. I think we have to wait a lot of years again for a new tennis game, maybe PS4. I think AO Tennis... AO Tennis will release another... Like, Big Ant will release another AO Tennis on the PS4. 
before the next gen comes in, but it'll pretty much be a copy and paste of AO Tennis as it is now, because that's what they do with a lot of their sports titles, they, they copy and paste. So there won't there won't be much difference. It won't imp it won't really improve much. Oh, thank you, Federer, for that one. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's more the fact that. They just haven't put the the crowd sounds in. Yeah, I've heard 2021. What other games have big ant? Uh, I'm playing on professional, so the second highest difficulty. Uh, professionals can be somewhat easier to play. Legend is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, what other big ants? Have, what other games have big ant done? Uh, there's the Don Bradman slash Ashes Cricket series. Ashes Cricket was a, a a copy and paste of Don Bradman 17 which came out the year before um, they've made the Rugby League Live series they've made four of those games four was an absolute copy and paste of three and then in the same year they released the World Cup edition for another money grab um, which was just the same game but it had the World Cup uh, DLC on it and that actually came out after the Rugby League World Cup which made no sense whatsoever um, they've made a lacrosse game, or a couple of lacrosse games in the past two years. They've made 12 or 13 games in the last two years for such a small company. That in itself tells you why a lot of their games have problems. They're making far too many games for such a small studio. That is the biggest problem with, with that, with that developer. If that's not money hungry, I don't know what is. And they've already got plans to release uh, release more games. The CEO just uh, he just as soon as one game's out, he's just he's just straight on to the next. They have a very very small team, from what I've heard, and it sounds like I've seen reviews of former employees, um, and they all they all say the same thing: that the, the CEO is a bully. He doesn't pay anyone enough. A big ant ever made a good game. Don Bradman Cricket 14 was probably their last decent game. That's when they started making too many games in too little time and everything started going downhill. The earlier Rugby League live games weren't too, weren't too bad, but like if I had one of the Rugby League live games, I'd, I'd play it on the channel and then everyone could see just how... Like, player movement has always been an issue in their games where it sort of trans it transfers across into all their other games so player movement in AO Tennis sort of stems from Rugby League Live Ashes Cricket where where that teleportation animation happens that that is in all all their games it happens in every one of their games I guess the CEO got greedy after making a successful game. Like, put it this way, AO Tennis is their first... Their first international release. They've never done a, a, a global release before. So the patch is out tomorrow, hopefully. Tomorrow, the physical copies are out. As well, uh... Yeah, 12th of June for most retailers, the physical copies are coming out for the rest of the world. Like, I know Australia and New Zealand's the... The twelfth. Expect two games to have more play. Well, every player has got their own individual image rights. So, a large scale list of rosters is always going to be difficult with the tennis game. Compared to like FIFA and games like that, where where they have where they can just get the licensing through through the leagues so they don't really have to um, like team sports is so much easier and like motorsport 
motorsport and team sports are the easier way to get licenses. I haven't played Quantum Break, I don't have an Xbox, but yeah, I've seen it. I think it was made by... I think it might have been made by the same... same people as uh, Detroit and Heavy Rain, but I, I might be wrong on that. Advantage. But it had a similar feel to those games. Oh, right on the line. Yeah, get that. So One deep. Oh, won the second set. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, Conic, Conic Dream, like, can they make a bad game? Like, they don't seem to be able to make a bad game. Final set. Right, into the third set. I've never actually been to a third set before. Oh, what a, what a forehand. Europe tomorrow. Another problem is that every player doesn't have its own uniqueness and moves. Yeah, I don't think either game... I don't think a lot of... I don't think either game has done much motion capture. I think that's part of the problem. That's why Nadal doesn't play like Nadal in AO Tennis. He's got some of his forehands and what... Like, uh, his forehand looks alright, but then everything else doesn't look right. And the way he plays doesn't look right either. Oh, Remedy Entertainment, okay. Well, forget that Quantic Dream comment then. Love yeah, Twitter was a absolute, absolute shit show uh, yesterday, or last night, uh, regarding Tennis World Tour. Like, the amount of arguments saying with people saying, oh, AO Tennis released in, in a much better state, and this, that, and the other. I had to explain to a lot of people that AO Tennis came, ba came out back in January, but a lot of people... Uh, yeah. A lot of people don't realise that, because it only came out in two countries. Yeah, Frostbite is a nice engine, yeah. Gotcha. What do you love? Breakpoint. The game should have been released 29th, even the digital. In that case, the patch would have been out in time. Now they got so much shit. Yeah. Love 40. Oh, Konami still has to pay, but it, like... They they don't have much licenses in their games because FIFA FIFA's got pretty much all the licenses. I mean, Pro Evolution doesn't even have they they lost the they lost the Champions League now as well, so they don't have the Champions League. So that may well end up in FIFA now too. Uh, yeah, I did watch the IGN review of AO Tennis and it was reviewed by an Aussie, and he absolutely hated it. He he, uh, he gave it a pretty low score. I don't think they did a. Uh, I don't think they did a second review on AO International Tennis, but in all honesty, I can't say it would fare much better. Like, it'd probably get a, a higher rating than what, than uh, the original AO Tennis got, but if it was reviewed by the same person, IGN is actually usually pretty upbeat in his reviews, and a lot of people like his reviews, so, would you say this or AO Tennis is the best career mode? AO Tennis' career mode gets boring very quickly, um, and it's, and it's a real grind, like, your player, it, it takes so long to upgrade your player, unless you lower the difficulty down to the lowest difficulty setting, and then you just play really, really short matches to, you know, like, 
the best of two games in a one set match if you do things that way you can get through the career a lot quicker and then become a better player but the game's a real grind I haven't seen GameSpot's review though I don't think you'll see GameSpot reviewing AO Tennis if, that, if that's what you mean I can't stand, like, uh, I, I, I'm so used to FIFA, I don't, I just can't play Pro Evolution because it, um, it just, it, it feels a bit sluggish at times. Why is what? There was, a, there was numerous comments uh, in a row there and I might have missed something. Uh, I don't think Ga GameSpot probably don't feel as though it's a game that needs reviewing. Even though it was got a global release, um, they probably look at it as though it's it's not really worth releasing since it's sec it technically come out twice. See, I IGN didn't review it a second time; they only reviewed it the once. I mean, obviously, iGen, you, t you take the reviews with a grain of salt, but at the time, that was a that was an accurate review. Review. Ah. I'm um, from Australia. That's one thing I'd like them to fix, where the opponent doesn't move and you get an ace. FIFA is and always has been top dog. Yeah, I'm pretty keen for the the World Cup update uh, later on. O IGN always kisses COD's, COD's ass. Yep, 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 yep. That's why most people hate them. Uh, and, yeah, their comment sections are absolute troll sections. FIFA is too fast. How the players move ball physics ETC. FIFA is... Maybe better as package, but gameplay is too rob robotic. I'm, I think that's meant to say. I just, I just prefer FIFA. Like, I think it's to me, it's more enjoyable. And I don't know. I just, I would. Yeah, like each to their own. It's, it's like how people, some people like AO tennis, some people like this. I mean, you know, everyone's different. Two AM. Oh damn. Pro Evolution will probably lose a lot of uh, a lot of sales because of losing the Champions League, though. FIFA 18, Mundial. What does that mean? Is an exit download a patch? What is that? Is that, is that what that means? You're getting this game on Thursday. Hopefully it'll be patched by then. Mundial means word, world. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, uh, apparently it comes up, uh, comes out uh, 8 a.m. UK time. So for me, that's about 6 p.m. Uh, my time, which is about nine hours away, a bit over nine hours away. Oh, nice. People, uh, Pro Evolution must sell fairly well or they wouldn't bother making it. Like, I think... <laughs> is that confirmed? Personally, I don't know. I'm just going by what people have said in the comment section, but 
I think I think FIFA generally do things in generally do things in relation to the UK from memory, so Oh shit, forgot to move, that helps. Yeah, like I think the last Pro Evolution I played was twenty sixteen when it was on sale on the PlayStation store. I just uh, I couldn't fully get into it. I think I'd need the PC version to like to download like uh, mods and whatnot, so I could get all the teams and maybe change a few things. Well, I'm beating Roger Federer, so he's not the best at the moment. But I'm I'm playing on the the second highest difficulty, so 30, 40. it's a little bit easier to win. Frost, ah, Frostbite or Unreal Engine 4. Um, I don't know, Cyprus. Are you a Man United fan, by the way, Pampos? I noticed that, that in your name before, but I forgot to ask. You can beat him, it's okay, <laughs> yeah. I was getting my ass kicked in the first set. Who do you see as the dark horse in it? Ah! French Open. Oh. Yeah, I'm a Man United fan as well. Um, the dark horse. Chelsea. <laughs> don't be talking about the FA Cup. I don't want to hear about the FA Cup. Shut up. Shut up! Oh, I can't think who I see as the Dark Horse. Obviously it'll be easier to see once the first couple of rounds are gone through. Better faces and player models as well in Pro Evolution. Not only Premier League. I've heard the I've heard the commentary in Pro Evolution. They've got a couple they've like they've I think I think they've got Jim Beglin and someone else. And the commentary feels a bit forced in Pro Evolution. I'd say that's one thing that's not very good. Uh bail is coming here for apparently two hundred million pounds. I don't know about that. But his price would have gone up after the Champions League final. Who's your favourite tennis player? At the moment, probably Nadal. Of past times, probably Pat Rafter. Uh, no, Joan, the patch isn't out yet. It's They're saying possibly tomorrow. Game's full of bugs, falls and glitches. It's terrible. Have you played AO Tennis? That game is still worse. Kyle Edmund is bloody good on clay. Uh, Peter Drury. He screams. Jim Blaglin and Peter Drury or something. Oh, yeah. Kyle is a dark horse for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard the commentary and it it, it it doesn't sound authentic. It doesn't sound like how Martin Tyler and, and Alan Smith sort of get you know get excited in uh in FIFA. I'm thinking to claim my seventy five Euros back. Well <laughs> to be fair, it hasn't had any updates. So <sighs> You know, it it is what it is. I mean, I know like a lot of people got refunds on AO Tennis, which I could understand. Good choice, Rafa. Rafa is awesome. Gorgeous for the girls. <laughs> Marin Cilic is always a threat as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting about Cilic. I mean, obviously he was in the in the final against Federer uh, at the Australian Open. I think he plays uh, plays an Aussie uh, tomorrow. I think it's like James Duckworth or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Croatian. Yeah, your fellow Croat. 
Yeah, nice. Critic, uh, Critic, Critic, Chilic always flies under the radar. The commentary of FIFA is miles away from Pro Evolution. Martin Tyler is a god. Even the Brazilian or Spanish commentator. Right there. <laughs> I've never actually switched. I've never actually switched it over. Um, I'd say it, it is tested, but they've released it in what seems to be like an early access type state. Have you seen the Xbox Tennis World Tour with the patch? Looks a bit faster and it's got the audience, but I reckon it won't be for another month or two. If it takes another month or two to get the crowd in and and the same standard as the Xbox, I'll be a, I'll be a little bit annoyed. He's got the muscles. <laughs> Ah, maybe Keen Ishikori might finally get his breakthrough. He's got one of the best two-handed backhands on the tour. 30, I think it was in Madrid. I watched his match with. Ah, uh, oh, damn it! I think it was with uh, Alexander Z Zirev. Um. I don't. I didn't get to see the final, though. Uh, in uh, Madrid. Oh, nice. Yeah, apparently with the patch. Uh, yeah, Sharapova played last night. I think. Uh, I haven't I haven't been to the Australian Open, no. I've only watched it on TV. Would love to see Goffin win, starting to like his playstyle. Sorry, got a bit of a fe fetish of you. <laughs> Fair enough. Ah! I've gone off Goffin. I haven't watched him play that much, but most of the games, obviously, the past month or two have been in Europe, so it's been it's kind of hard to watch. Ah, damn it! There's that trademark fo uh, backhand. Advantage. Underarm serve. That was a mistake. Yeah, you can blame early access for that, and the fact that, uh, the fact that, um, these games are made by small developers, it, it, it's just, it's, it's gonna be, always be like this, unless a big, uh, big player comes in and starts making a tennis game again. Zverev and TM are playing very well. Oh, nice. Not exactly a nice thing to say. Uh, the game hasn't been patched yet. Uh, still waiting. Ooh, that's... Still waiting on the patch. Me, personally, if I could just have one thing right now, it'd just be the crowd atmosphere. That would That would make it, for me, just that much better. Even just that. If I can get a few gameplay tweaks, that'd be great too. Uh, doubles isn't in in the game yet. They're saying they might add it in at a later stage. You were starting to say something about the patch. What was it? Should be the same. Oh yeah, uh, they clarified on Twitter last night my time that the patch for Xbox is pretty much everything that the PS4 version already has. Um, but then a lot of people say, started bombarding them with comments saying, uh, no, PS4 doesn't have sound, Xbox has got the crowd sound, we don't. And then I have noticed there's some gameplay differences as well, so it sort of makes you wonder a bit. Adding extra outfits for everybody would be cool. 
What do you think about the career mode? Is it dy dynamic or boring? Um, it's probably a little bit empty at the moment, and it's a little bit too easy. I've heard they've, I've heard they've balanced it a bit in the Xbox version. It's it, it is a bit harder now. Um, and they've uh, sorted out the calendar a bit better. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's more enjoyable than than the uh, AO Tennis's career mode. AO Tennis's career mode, it it's too much of a grind. You don't get any any enjoyment out of it. That that might change if they can finally improve or you know sort out the AI being too powerful in that game, and then as well as uh, sorting out your own player movement. You got it on Xbox and still needs work. Oh yeah, fair enough. I think we'll see a couple of patches before the 12th of June when the last lot of releases get done. Hopefully we see another patch this week though. Or a, well, two in this case for PS4 in the same week. Come on crowd, get excited. Oh, nice. What's that? 4-1 four, four up. Uh, I haven't got the best connection. So I'm not really sure how it would go lag-wise. But we can give it a go. Have you got me added on, uh, on the PS4? If I've been your sign for Liverpool, bad for Chelsea and Manchester United. What position does he play? Hi, why do you have a Nike t-shirt? Uh, I'm playing as Karen... Karen Kachanov. This, this isn't a cre creative player. Uh, do you remember Goran Ivanisevic? I sure do. Him and Pat Rafter had some of the best matches I've ever seen. Can two players play this game? Uh, what, do you mean like against each other? Like, in a singles match. If so, yes, but not online yet. Not yet, we'll do it tomorrow. Alright, no worries. Uh, and reveal about AO2, hopefully. So we have something to look <laughs> Defensive midfielder. Oh, okay. Personally, I prefer playing this over AO Tennis, but evidently there's another patch coming for AO Tennis, which is apparently going to fix some of the issues that I've had with the game since day one since January so we shall see must be getting annoying us <laughs> uh, I'm kinda used to it now nah online isn't active yet um yeah the Wimbledon final yeah definitely I saw Goran I I Ivanisevic play with, uh, I think he was playing with Alicia Mollick. At, oh, no, not Alicia Mollick. Uh, oh, who was it? But, yeah, he was playing in a mixed doubles match with, uh, that was absolutely hilarious. I think game has better gameplay than AO Tennis, yeah. Well, that's how I, that's how I feel about it. Um, I've only played tennis elbow briefly. I I need to go back and revisit it. Gotcha. I love Nadal and Federer. Doubles at the Hopman Cup. Are there any weather settings? Um, there is... Sort of. I, I don't think it can rain at any point, though. 
Uh, cup, can't type. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Hopman Cup. Hopman Coup, Hopman Coup, Hopman Coup. Great match at the Hopman Coup. Oh, come on, that gray, that grazed the line. Umpire, sir, do you need some glasses? Challenge, sir, I say. Yeah, the fact that he, he served his country in the army as well, uh, you, you gotta, you gotta respect that. Which is the releasing date of the patch. Uh, they're talking about tomorrow. They're trying for tomorrow. Mocked for poor guy. <laughs> It's all right. I uh, I get mocked for when when I say inappropriate things and and I don't realise. Like it, for example, when that when that woman says "come on," I'll say "oh, I'll oh, come on you in a minute," and I'm like, "oh wait, that doesn't sound right." This will make you laugh. Tennis dream team Roger Federer and R Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Mansoor, Barami, and Goran double man. <laughs> They'll get hurt for trying so hard. They should add challenges into the game. It would make it a lot more realistic. Yeah, they've they've talked about it in an article, and they say that the umpires don't mistakes don't make mistakes, so they don't need them. I disagree. <laughs> Too many people triggered. Uh, <laughs> have you played? Uh, Tennis games a long time. Yeah, uh, I played a lot of the Virtua series and the early Top Spin games. Um, no, I played tennis, a bit of tennis elbow. I played full ace. I played this. I played AO tennis. I didn't play gra the the Grand Slam tennis game though. Yeah, AO tennis has got challenges. Do you know when they'll make online playable? Uh, probably in one of the upcoming patches, they've said. Uh, I'm pretty sure the PS2 did. I'm not sure about the PS1. Because the PS2 would have had the first... The first and second top spin. And then they had a couple of the Virtua series as well. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, oh, what a bad way to end that point. Davis Cup would be good to see. 40, 30. Oh, nice. Lovely. Lovely back on that. Juice. Come on, power on to the home, home run. <laughs> Oh dear. Advantage. Just so everyone knows, I probably will end the stream. Uh, stream? I'll, I'll end the stream. Where's the mocking for my uh, lack of words? Word ability? Worditude? Uh, yeah, I'll probably end the stream after I finish this match. Uh, what difficulty do you play? Did you make more players? 
I'm playing professional on this, so the second highest difficulty. Um, I've only got a couple of career players. You, you can't really create any of the pros in the game, if that's what you mean. If they can make a FIFA World Cup game, then they can make that. Well, they, ha they haven't really made a whole new game for it this time. Yeah, I mumble my words a lot. So that's why I'll repeat what I say sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, they haven't made a standalone game for the FIFA World Cup this time. So it's just a free... Like, I mean, we can't complain about a free, a free update. So, you know. Hopefully I can finish this game out in this set. Coming up on two hours on the stream. Damn it. Yeah, football football's easier because I mean it's a team sport so licensing is easier to obtain. And you look at it, EA Sports has got the money to pay those license license uh, fees, so Big Ben and, and Big Ant, they just don't have the money for that. But I think one thing Big Ant has, has got wrong is they sort of dodged the bullet, or dodged the question on play, on new players. Ross has said twice in the past two or three months, the exact same thing two times, that they can't really talk about it because uh, apparently they're... In, the, in negotiations, but they haven't added anyone since Yuchi Sugita in January, so I'm not really expecting them to add anyone else. They might be spending, they might be spending two and a half million dollars on a on a gridiron game with a with an American company as well, possibly. So don't expect too much money to be too much more money to be uh, put into AO Tennis. If that goes ahead. Yeah, you can create up to 20 players, but there's not much customization. So you, you can't, you can't really do that much. Oh yeah, like, I think, I think Big Ben will be able to add more players over time. Because in all honesty, I think over time it will probably sell better than AO Tennis. Because they marketed it better. AO Tennis did no marketing whatsoever. Absolutely no marketing. Oh. Uh, who's the best chess player? Uh, bleh. I don't know. I don't really get to see, see enough of the matches uh, in the last couple of months. Should add Rod Labor. There we go. Beat Federer. 27 minutes, 25 minutes, 26 minutes. Yeah, you can get aces, but it's because it's because the uh, AI doesn't move. So, <laughs> um, there you go. So a three-set match took 80 minutes nearly. Uh, yeah, me personally, I still think. AO Tennis plays worse, so this is still ahead of where that is, but, um, <clears throat> oh, I was going to say something, and I can't remember what it was, what is the fastest serve you can hit, the fastest serve I've done is 191 kilometers an hour, so still not as fast as what some should be able to do, so basically it means Isna can't even serve his a uh, accurate speeds. Do you think that would be a good idea? I missed the question. Uh, I'm actually about to end the stream, uh, Rebecca. Uh, been going for nearly two hours and kind of need a bit of a break. Voice is starting to go a bit. Need some food. Yeah, no worries. Um, happy to provide any information that I come across. Like, um, one one thing I'll suggest is probably uh, if anyone hasn't followed me on Twitter yet, 
uh, probably probably follow me on Twitter to um, like to see any updates on there. Uh, I do a lot of my communication on Twitter. So if you wanna if you do wanna follow me on Twitter, it's just at Johnny D Gaming. Um, I'm pretty active on there with replies and all that sort of stuff. So it's pretty easy for me to to talk on there. Uh, it's a lot easier than going through the comment section on on YouTube. Are oh, you follow me on Facebook? Cool. I reply to messages on, messages on Facebook too. Uh, like, how do you get out of a bad situa situation in a match? I mean. Uh, it depends, really. Um, I think you, you've got to work on where you place your shots a bit because if you if you if you don't place your shot correctly and and uh, and and your your opponent is set, you're going to be on the stretch for the entire point, and it's really hard to get back into it. Which which I kind of like. I know a lot of people don't like that. Uh, I'm from Australia. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a New Zealander, but I, yeah, I, I like to do the accent sometimes. A lot of, a lot of people don't like it though. Oh, shut bro. Oh, got, got some fush and chops. Oh, beach tears. Oh, shut. Yeah, I can't, I can't do much of the accent. That's just mostly from that uh, that beach does well thing. If you've ever seen that, yeah, Janky doesn't like it. <laughs> and if Silly Boy was in here too, he wouldn't like it either. But he laughs at it, so it's all good. You can the guy above you. He's uh, he's a New Zealander or from New Zealand. Um, should men's Tennis have court or coaching like women's tennis. Court coaching like women. Yeah, uh, probably. Yeah, a lot of a lot of New Zealanders don't like it. <laughs> but I mean, you know, everyone makes fun of everyone in in some way or another. Like, you know, plenty of people take the piss out of Australians. So I don't get many of those. Maori accents in Christchurch. Oh yeah, you're from the South Island. Where all your bloody earthquakes are. Don't fall down a crack. You might not come back. Ah, uh, actually, that's probably a bad. That's probably a bit of an insensitive joke. I take that back. Actually, uh, can I play with friends online? Uh, not at the moment. They haven't added online in yet, but it is coming soon. We love Australia. Where, where are you from, uh, Johnny Seymour? I can't remember if I've asked or not. I shouldn't, uh, the player, be left out to figure them things out for themselves, though. Um, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Can't always rely on the coach to tell you what to do. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, that's true. Um, I think the coach plays somewhat of a role. But in the end, it's down to the player on the court, obviously. Do you remember Raphael having cramps? Yeah, nice. Britain, UK, England. Three answers. <laughs> I, I would have got what you meant. Uh, <laughs> uh, what what part of England? You what? You having a laugh, mate? Yeah, that was awful. Pro tennis player said that game really reflects hardest things are real tennis positioning timing you must play it more to understand yeah I've already got that impression of it to begin with like a player's balance is key in a tennis match in AO tennis you you don't get those off balance um off balance shots you put a shrimp on the barbie I've never once heard an Aussie say that not once I know I don't know where that started oh Somerset I know you got a, I know you got a cricket team there. It's about all I got on Somerset. I'm not sure what, uh, what teams are around the Somerset area, uh, football-wise. Is there any Premier League teams around Somerset? What's the nearest Premier League team? 
Yeah, it's a myth, exactly. I heard that in Dukes of Hazard in 2005. I was like, um, what? I was like, are you serious? Uh, no, I'll, I won't be playing another match just at the moment. I may come back in a little while. Uh, I don't know how many people will actually be awake, depending on your time. But I, I need to have something to eat, and I'll probably go to the gym. Oh, wait, no, it's only quarter past nine. I probably won't go to the gym just yet. Yeah, they're not very good. What, what's the near, What's the nearest team? Just out of curiosity, because I can't think geologically or geographically where Somerset is on the map. Always, Aussies love a beer and a barbie. Oh, there's Silly Boy. Oh, what's up, Cuzzy Brew? Oh, shuts. Nah, the patch isn't out yet, Brew. Ah, uh, yeah, nah, the patch isn't out yet. Stereotype. I'm watching during my uni. <laughs> oh, dear. That's always good. Samoan Thor. Do you know The Rock? Um, you play like shit when online comes, when I kick your ass. Okay. Probably. Southampton. Oh, God. Good luck to you, sir. Do you actually follow Southampton, or the Saints? The Saints go marching in. To be fair, um, it might seem like I play like shit, uh, but... I'll just beat Federer, but it's not on le legend difficulty. But still, like the game, the game throws a lot of curveballs at you sometimes. Bloody Kyrgios withdrawing from Roland Garros. Uh, I, yeah, I don't really blame Kyrgios. I mean, he, he's trying to save himself for potentially Wimbledon. It just seems a bit funny that he just won a doubles tournament a day or two prior, and then yeah, that happened. Somerset is close to Glastonbury. Glastonbury. Yeah, I'm very familiar with that festival. And then up north is uh, Manchester United and Arsenal in the southeast. Yep, Arsenal are uh, craptacular. Uh -huh. uh, but they should be better without Wenger at the home. Who's your favourite tennis player? Uh, currently, Rafael Nadal past uh, Pat Rafter. Do you think he pushed it out playing Tomic? Uh, I don't think so. I think he would have beaten Tomic pretty easily. And Tomic's out already. So, <laughs> maybe they can have world-class players. I support West Ham. Oh yeah, I think I remember that. He's saving his strength for grass season. Any upsets for you? I saw Ostapenko got got uh, ousted. And I saw Venus Williams got got booted as well the day before. Rafael Nadal and then Rod Laver. Oh well, you like an Australian. That's handy. <laughs> you don't like uh, Kyle Edmund? Uh, Stan, he's he's got a lot of... He's having a lot of trouble with form. He's really struggling. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, Azarenka lost as well. Uh, Hewitt. Yeah, Leighton Hewitt is good. Um... He'll probably be Australia's last number one for quite some time, unless Kyrgios can really get cracking. Ostapenko wasn't a surprise, to be honest. Oh, okay. I just thought because she's quite highly ranked, it seemed a bit strange going out in the first round. <clears throat> but, you know, it is what it is. I prefer Kyle Edmund over Murray. I prefer his attacking game. It it'll let's see. That's the other thing. It'll be interesting to see when Murray actually plays again, because I mean he's really struggling with injuries at the moment. He hasn't played for quite a while. Stan is done at the top level. Yeah, we were having this conversation the other day. Kyle certainly knows how to hit a forehand. I haven't seen Edmund play yet. I'm curious to see like, when I'm able... When when there's a match at a decent time, I'll try and watch. Ostapenko had a lot of weight on her shoulders as she's the current champion. Yeah. Well, not anymore. I've seen Kyle play at Wimbledon in 2013. How old is he? Or was that in the juniors?
Murray will have to play more aggressive now he's older. Yeah, true. I think him and Nadal are the same age too. Or around about the same age. You have to watch Kyle Edmund. Yeah, I'll try and try and watch him when I'm able to. You might see a di difference when he returns. Yeah, possibly. Oh, 23. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, so 2013 was that fight. Oh, okay, so he's 18 at the time. Oh, so it's not juniors. So he's in the main main tournament. Stan is done. Hopefully his girlfriend Donna Vekic, Ve Ve Vekic uh, will rise and reach her full potential. Still young though. Didn't even know he was dating another tennis player. <laughs> so there's something new. Alright, uh, yeah, so going to wrap up the stream. Uh, I may come back in a little while. Don't, don't uh, hold me to that. Uh, I'll just wait and see. There's a bit of an age gap between Stan and this girl. I'd say so. Vekic sucks. Didn't she bang the cock? I'm assuming that means cock and arcus. Possibly. Not confirmed. <laughs> Is Vekic Croatian? Allegedly. Twenty-one, thirty-three, twelve years, dirty dozen. Ah, uh, what about Nadal? Ah, oh, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I thought she was Croatian. That was just a stab in the dark because I. I've done a few matches of her on AO Tennis with the creative version. I, I was just trying to remember what the national flag was against her name. I try and rem I try and remember as many national flags as I possibly can to try and figure out where each player's from. Yeah, Stan and Kyrgios had an intense meet at the net. Kyrgios claimed that cock bang banged his girl to to stand face. What a prick. <laughs> Do you remember how good Djokovic was in the 2011 season? Djokovic had a good run for quite a while. And then, uh, you know, won't be another month or two before we see a substantial difference, probably. If we can see minor differences over that time, I'm, I'm probably okay with that. Because you look at it, AO Tennis didn't change much in four months. So, you know... Do you think it will return to that level? Probably not. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was. He was virtually unbeatable then. Like no one, no one could touch him. Uh, anyway, any any other questions? Just to to wrap things up. So we've hit the two hour mark. Um, like I said, I'll probably come back in a little while once I've had something to eat and relaxed for a bit. bit hungry what is your opinion about Andrea Pe Pekovic do you think she can uh, do a good tournament in Roland Garros did she get through a f I'm assuming she got through her first round demolished Fed and Nadal that's it yeah I remember I watched a few games do you play tennis for real uh, no I don't I've only ever played cricket I played cricket from the age of 9 until I was about 21 or 22, and then I got over it. Just wanted to thank you for all your videos. It's literally been daily and must take up so much of your time. Um, it doesn't take up much of my time, actually. Uh, the only part that takes a lot of time is uploading them because I've got such a slow internet connection. So... Um, yeah, that that's the only part that takes a lot of time. When when my internet connection gets upgraded in the next couple of months, it, it'll it'll take me virtually no time at all to upload a lot what I for what I do, and I'll be able to do more higher quality uh, streams and then uh, offline videos as well. Everything will be in like 1080p 
60 frames per second. So every game I upload will be of a better standard, visually, at the very least. Where is Laura Robson going? I have no idea who that is. There's so many players I just I'm just totally unaware of. So tennis world tour online can be tough for you when it's released. Yeah. I'm expecting it's gonna be I'm expecting it's gonna be similar to AO tennis in a way. Uh in the in the way of potential lag, but only time will tell. Cause they'll probably have uh they'll probably have peer to peer as well. They they probably won't have uh server. Cause that'll be too expensive to run. What was your reaction to Pat Rafter losing to Pete Sampras? Next ne <laughs> next next que next question. Oh dear. Pat Rafter was an amazing player though. I think he retired probably a bit a bit too young. But cuz I think he was only 28 when he retired and it was a bit of a surprise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty-eight. He was only twenty-eight when he retired. It was it, like that was that was a massive shock. Uh, Hewitt. Hewitt was having a lot of injury problems, and like he still had a bit about his game, but uh. Yeah, Hewitt was on the decline. You could see it, and and all the injuries he was having. I think he was just looking after his body at the end of the day. Like he still plays doubles, obviously, but uh, here and there. But uh, Roddick was only thirty-two. Yeah, I think Roddick had a lot. Roddick had a few injury problems as well. Not as many as Hewitt, but what was your thoughts on Pat Rafter, Rafter Rafter's comments about Bernard Tomic? For the Davis Cup team, uh, I think they were pretty warranted at the time. Um, you know, Rafter's not going to take any shit, so yeah, kind of. It is what it is. Yeah, Roddick would have won a shitload of slams if Federer or Nadal wasn't around. I still remember one of Nadal's first games that I ever saw, and it was against Leighton Hewitt. At the Australian Open, I uh, can't remember what year it was. It was the early 2000s, where Nadal had, he just had, he just had his his trademark topspin shot. He didn't really have any power in his game back then. Like watching that, if I would like, I wish I'd known that I was watching the the future world number one. I had no idea back then. <clears throat> anyway, uh, gonna wrap things up. Uh, Hopefully I'll uh, uh, see you guys again soon. Uh, yeah, just if anyone wants to follow me on Twitter at at Johnny D Gaming, uh, I post quite regularly on there. If you want to ask any questions or or this that and the other, or just follow when I have arguments with people, <laughs> feel free. Uh, there's also the Facebook page as well. I think it's. Just search Johnny D Gaming and it should come up say the same way. So yeah, uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Uh, I'll probably do the FIFA World Cup update later on tonight, my time. Uh, I probably will do another Tennis World Tour uh, stream today, during the day, my time. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you I'll actually see for that, but yeah, wait and see. Anyway, uh, yeah, so see you guys soon.